The Lord be with you. Good day everyone. This is Father Joel and this is Archinosis Gospel Reflection for today, Fourth Sunday of Advent. How are you today? I hope you are still insane because I know that it's been a crazy week. You have been preparing so many things for the family, for the parties, for the gifts, and all those things that keeps us really, really busy for the whole week. But nonetheless, Never forget one good thing, that is to prepare our hearts and to really, really prepare our life so that we may be worthy of receiving our Lord. And on the December 25th, never forget, with your family, come to Jesus, come to the church, come to Bethlehem, and sing with the angels of God in saying glory to God in the highest. We're all familiar with Annunciation to Mary when he said, I am the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. But never forget that St. Joseph also had his chance of clarifying things, of accepting the mission. Because there's always a saying, it takes two to tango, never forget that. If Mary said yes, and if Joseph will not, then it will be a different story after all. And so thanks to the fiat of St. Joseph, and thanks to the fiat of Mama Mary, everything fell into their proper places according to to the plan of God. St. Joseph found that Mary was already having a child. Of course, he didn't understand it in the beginning. He was crazy thinking of what happened. Why Mary committed such infidelity. But without realizing that it was actually the plan of God through the action of the Holy Spirit. And so while he was dreaming, the angel appeared and said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife because the one on her womb is of the Holy Spirit and will be the Son of God and you will call him Jesus Emmanuel. My dear sisters and brothers, it was understandable for Joseph to silently separate from Mary because imagine if you were in his position, probably you were also be truly, truly hurting, overwhelming heartbreak will really put you down, especially for a man like Joseph. But he remained just, as what the gospel would say. He was a just man that he chose to separate Mary silently, and he was not trying to put any harm on Mary. Because, you know, the law during the time, if a woman will be found having a child outside that marriage before that official living in together, then she will be subjected to death by stoning. And Joseph, being the just man that he was, he cannot afford to see Mary suffering, even if he was the one hurting. That was how just he was. His love was so pure. His love was benevolent. His love was selfless that he couldn't put Mary in such humiliating and painful situation because he knew Mary was innocent. But he couldn't fathom the mystery behind it. So he just wanted to live silently. Let others think that he was the responsible husband, but just so he cannot fathom to see Mary suffering. That's how pure the love of Joseph was. So today, for our reflection, I hope all the fathers out there will imitate St. Joseph in his pure love, in his benevolent love, in his selfless love for Mary and his family. Let us pray that everyone will be man enough, like St. Joseph, to stand for the family no matter what and choose to protect and to love with all their heart. And that is exactly what Joseph is giving us an example, especially in this modern world where everyone is seemingly afraid of commitment and responsibility. Joseph showed us with the help of God, with the grace of God, he was able to allow the will of God to happen. Fatherhood, after all, is a mission. So whatever the situation you're into, never forget that you are in a mission as a family man, like St. Joseph. God bless you.